what's up, you guys? Chelsea Briggs here, coming to you from Gibson Brands Showroom, joined by Jordan Witzegruder of the Hi. Ready Set. Hello. I had to finish my intro. You didn't let me. You I, were like, I, I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. <laughs> You look so trendy today. Thank I'm loving you. your style. I'm, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I, just, I got <laughs> yes, lucky, I guess. Mixing uh, patterns, I like it. You know what? Yep, there's some cheetah business happening, and there's some uh, some stripes, which I don't know if that's uh, considered good. But I like it. You know, I'm just, you know, doing what I can. It's been two years since we last chatted. Yeah. And I remember that when I first talked to you two years ago, um, you had just moved to California. Mm -hmm. So how has it been living here in Cali now? It's been good. I uh, I kind of just like stay at home and write a lot. So uh -huh. I'm really not doing much else that I didn't do, I guess, when I lived in Indiana. Interesting. So, Tell me you've gone hiking at least. Though. Oh, I go hiking all the time. Okay, good. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bad and the better. Tell me about it. How is it to have your album out there? Uh, it feels good. It feels really good. It's kind of been a while since I got to put an album out, so now it's like everything's kind of like back on track feeling and it's exciting. How would you say maybe your music's evolved most? Uh, I like to think that it's just gotten better overall. <laughs> I mean, hopefully not worse, yeah. uh, if anything. Um, yeah, I mean, I spent like two years just like writing with tons of different people and like working with a bunch of different producers and it was almost like going to songwriting class over again almost. Like I was just learning so much with those people and uh, I just feel like I just relearned how to write music almost, huh. which is cool. What's like an in-studio moment that stands out when making this album that you can share with me? I did uh, a song called Are We Happy Now and it was the first time that in a while that I got to just write a song without thinking about, like I just tried not to think about anything, try to let it just be completely like natural and not even like... I guess give much thought to what I was doing. It actually ended up being my favorite song, just nice. like really natural. And uh, it was kind of a long time since I did that because I was really focused on trying to write like a specific type of song for a long time. And I was just kind of over it and gave it a shot and it just ended up feeling right. What is it about this album though that, that kind of like really reflects where you are in your um, life? Well, I think right now it's like, it sounds like what I have wanted the Ready Set to sound like for mm -hmm. a long time. Like it's a good blend of like organic and electronic stuff. And it's not like too far into like, being overly like dancey or anything like that mm -hmm. and I don't know and I think like as far as like lyrics and everything go it's kind of like I was saying earlier I kind of learned how to write songs again like I learned how to just focus like a lot better and just really make the best parts of songs stand out I think I love Castaway thank with you. Jake Miller thank you yeah. and I love Jake how was it how did that kind of collaboration come um, together? it was actually kind of a, kind of a weird thing because I had never actually met him before, and uh, we were just looking for a feature on it, and he had recently signed to uh, to Warner Brothers when I was on Warner, and my a &R was like, hey, you might be good for it. And I was like, all right, sweet, and he sent over the verse, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. So it's really good. I love it. You guys are cool dudes. I feel like we're I would have wanted to be cool. in that studio session together. I'm, I'm, I'm very cool. <laughs> I am you'll, you'll very cool. I don't know if you know this. Out. Mix Prince, Jordan is mm -hmm. very cool. You guys just wait. You'll, you'll see. Speaking you'll see. of cool, your higher music video. It's something. <laughs> I don't know if cool is the word. How you ate nails. I did eat nails, yeah. <laughs> they were real nails. Uh did not swallow any. But I was I got kinda scared. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll put them in my mouth, no big deal. And then I put them in there and I was like, this is actually really dangerous. D totally. And if I didn't have my throat really closed, like I could have swallowed a nail and the I had to, of it would have been set. it would have been a whole a whole debacle, probably a hospital visit. I'm a wild card, so you know you never know if I'll pick up something and eat it. So looking around right <laughs> now know, for things right? to eat. What's yeah. here? Um, and you've always been very hands on. I feel like with your concepts and mm -hmm. music videos and stuff like that. How were you very hands on with this one? Um, yeah, I was kind of like I felt like I was like in your dream or something. You're, like you dreamt something, this up. Some kind of weird like <laughs> weird awkward nightmare thing. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of treatments sent to me for videos. Yeah, the guys who I did the video with were really open to just kind of me like throwing out random ideas all over the place and it just ended up being a whole ridiculous experience. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite song off the album? I know you probably get that question mm. a lot, but... There's another song called Fangs that I really like a lot just because it's kind of weird. It doesn't sound like anything else in the album and it was like a late edition and I just recorded it in my, in my place so I didn't even go to a studio or anything. I just did it and like kind of nice. threw it on and it ended up being like one of my favorites. I so. love that. I feel like that's like the, those are the best stories. We're just like, yeah, yeah. it was like a random writing yeah. session. Like that's, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Um, so I have to check in with you on the status of your collaboration with Jay-Z and Prince. I'm working on it. It's, it's still in the works. Uh, you know, our our people are uh, they're they're getting to it. Okay, it's you think soon. it's gonna happen soon, well, guys? Sooner rather Fans? than later. I, I mean, it might have already happened. Maybe it's just not out yet. And do you have Katy Perry's number yet? Mm, not yet. Because this has like been a long time. It coming. has been a long time. And she's and very I, single. Is she single now? She is single. Well, looks like I haven't accomplished anything <laughs> over the past few years. I apologize. <laughs> mixed patterns. Yeah, mixed patterns is is, uh, is as good as things have gotten. Um, and you leave for Warp Tour today, mm -hmm. which is super exciting. You're headlining. How does Are it we? I thought that's is there a headliner? I, I thought you guys were headlining-ish. I'm going to say that we are. 
Just go with that. I'm we are headlining. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, we're, we're actually the only band on it this year. We're playing uh, 40 times a day. <laughs> right. And, um, it should be good. That's actually, when I say headlining, I mean you guys are the best ones on tour. Oh, come on. <laughs> but it is. It's like a camp for your friends because you is, know everyone is. on tour. So that's got to be so fun. Yeah, we have a ton of friends. Like It's bands pretty much that we've toured with. Like tons of times, Warped Tour is a special thing. It's not like any other tour. It's kind of like it's it's definitely like its own regimented pattern. Like so, you basically have to wake up, and figure out what time you're playing at nine. You know, you might be playing in one hour. You might be playing at like seven o'clock at night. So it's just kind of like, I guess, try not to make too many plans for that yeah. tour is a way to do it. You just kind of go play it by ear, and uh, hopefully you're not playing at ten a.m. I always wonder how you plan like your outfits for it. Do you just like rewear? Because uh, it's like you're playing so many shows. I overpack to a, to a crazy extent, and um, I bring a ton of stuff. And I usually like commandeer the entire closet in the box <laughs> and just fill with my stuff because I'm a uh, terrible person <laughs> and very selfish. And um, you know, I just try to. I like to wear things and let them hang dry. Outside, okay. Okay. Outside. And hope uh, they don't get stolen. Hope yeah. Hope they don't get stolen. <laughs> uh, you got you to keep the stage clothes and the. Uh, What's the word? The civilian clothes separate. Okay. So, so that makes it sound like a superhero. That's thing. funny though. In my civilian I like clothes. <laughs> I'm into it. Are you gonna bring that hat? I'm gonna bring this hat. Okay, cool. I'm gonna wear this hat every day. Hey, thanks. Yeah. It's hey, thank fun you. to be reunited. It is. Good luck is. on Warp Tour, thank and I'll be you. seeing you soon. And you guys, of course, for more on Jordan and the Ready Set, be sure to head to hollywire.com and hollywire TV, and we will see you later.